Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Deer Hunters. Today I want to talk to you about using a thermal optic for deer hunting. No, I'm not talking about going out and using a thermal scope to shoot a deer at night. I'm talking about using a thermal optic to double your chances to take a good buck this year. There are three main ways that a thermal optic will help you while you're deer hunting. The first one is when you're walking into the stand. You'll be able to scan the area before daylight as you're walking in to make sure that you don't spook deer on your way into the stand. There's also the use of a thermal scanner after you take a shot, your deer is down, because most of the time you shoot a deer, they don't go directly down. They may run 50 yards, 100 yards, and especially if it's right at nighttime, it can get dark before you can find that deer, and a thermal optic will really come in handy if you're you're trying to locate that deer. But the main reason I use thermal optics while I'm deer hunting is for detection. You can see hundreds and hundreds of yards across an open field, and you can see very deeply into the woods when it's dark or in the daytime when it's very shady. If you have a really good pair of binoculars, you can look through the trees for deer. The problem with that is deer are so well camouflaged, even with binoculars, if they're not moving, you may not see them. Yesterday I was in two different places. One was on the edge of a hayfield and it was about 200 yards to the back of that hayfield to the tree line. The other one I was in the woods and if I picked up my binoculars and I focused them all the way as far as I could see through the woods through the trees I could see you know a couple hundred yards each way. Looking around all I see was there's trees everywhere. I mean, you know, you, you know how it is. You, you have to really, you know, focus on those little places between the trees and hopefully that deer moves and you see them moving between the trees. But with a thermal optic, there's no camouflage effect. Those trees do not camouflage that deer. It's every time he walks between a tree, you see a white image. Everything out there is darker. Now, of course, you'll see the image. You'll see the trees, which will be a light. The trees will be warmer than the ground usually or the leaves and so you'll see the trees and you'll see the bushes and everything but walking in between those trees but even if the deer is not moving you pick up the thermal optic and you can see them immediately the first stand i went to yesterday i was standing on the edge of a hayfield and of course when i was walking in i had my thermal and i looked across the field and there was two or three deer in the field and i'll show you this video i was going to my stand i saw the deer in the field, and they were playing around. They had no idea I was there because the wind was in my face. The deer were feeding, and then they moved into the woods. And I said, well, I guess they're all gone. I picked up my thermal scanner, and I could see four or five deer. I picked up my binoculars, nothing. Picked up my rifle scope, nothing. I mean, it's like, is it a ghost out there? What had happened is that the deer had just walked into the woods, you know, like maybe 10 feet. But when that happens, there's no light shining on the deer for you to use with your binoculars or your, even your naked eye. He's 200 yards away. He's under the trees or maybe behind some bushes. And it's almost impossible to see that deer with your rifle scope or binoculars. You pick up this thermal scope and you instantly see those deer because it's a black and white image like you'd see in a black and white movie, but the deer are white. And you can see them probably, you know, depending on how deep the woods are, I mean, you can see them anywhere from 10 yards to maybe 20 to 25 yards back in the trees. I've seen coyotes at night, you know, 100 yards, you know, back in, in the trees in open timber. So it's so easy to find deer with a thermal scope. There are a lot of different brands and price ranges for thermal optics. Thermal optics start down now, you know, at a few hundred dollars and they go up to $10,000. The good thing is that you do not have to have a very expensive thermal optic for deer hunting. Because you're not using it as a rifle scope, First of all, all you need is a handheld scanner. And these scanners come in different resolutions. You can buy a 640 resolution, which is a very high definition uh, scanner. 
and you can see everything out there very, very clearly. You can actually, you know, most of the time when a, a deer gets under 100 yards, you can actually see antlers, but you don't need a 640 resolution to do what I'm doing because most of the time uh, you're either in an open field where the animal is going to really stand out. I mean, you can see these, you can see a deer across the field, you know, hundreds of yards. When you're in the woods, you know, you're only limited by the number of trees that's between you and the deer or the, or the number of bushes between you and the deer. So you don't really need a high-end scanner to go out and use it for deer hunting. I would suggest, you know, if you can afford it, yes, get a 640 high-resolution scanner. If you're on a budget, go to a 384. Now, if these 384 scanners started about uh, $1,200. But on the other hand, that piece of equipment is going to double your chances of taking a deer this year. It's just so much easier to detect a deer with a thermal optic than it is with your naked eye or binoculars. A thermal scanner is better at detecting deer than anything you will ever buy. It's better than your high-end binoculars. It's better than your high-end rifle scope. Anything that's alive and gives off heat, you see it. And uh, it'll just make your, your hunting experience so much better. Uh, if you have any questions about using a thermal optic for uh, deer hunting or just in general, just drop me a note in the comments and I'll try to answer all your questions. I just thought, you know, yesterday I made those videos in the woods and today I wanted to make sure you get, get it because it's deer season. Man, you want to get out there in, in the woods and, and I want you to have that opportunity to take a buck of a lifetime. And this scanner right here is just what's going to help you do it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss the next video. Thanks a lot.